Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. So we've got this uh, new protesters on the block. They're not really called Stop the Oil. Block 10 oil terminals and force ExxonMobil UK to suspend operations. Hundreds of protesters from Climate Group just stop oil blocked 10 critical oil terminals across the UK on Friday morning, it says here. It also states that the protests could have a potential impact on fuel supply for London and the South East. And as you can see, the police are going to be very, very, very slow at moving them on, just like they were very slow at moving on Insulate Britain people when they were blocking the roads and causing traffic jams. So here we go again. I've done videos about this before. This is yet another manifestation of the same organization, just using a different name to appear as if they are not connected when they are. This is the same group, same people as Extinction Rebellion and Insulate Britain. This guy, Louis Makaki, or whatever his name is, who tied himself to a goalpost a week or so ago for Just Stop Oil, if you go to his LinkedIn page, it states that he is part of Insulate Britain. We can see that In Extinction Rebellion are also part of these protests, as you can see here. So they are all one group. The Extinction Rebellion, Insulate Britain, and Just Stop Oil are all the same. All one and the same. An organization funded by billionaires and NGOs to create chaos, to make everything worse to drive up prices of petrol, to cause roadblocks, to stop people wanting to drive their cars, to hurry up those food supply issues, to crash everything and speed up that great reset and bring in the new world order. That's what this is all about. They've already stated that they are going to start doing the old Insulate Britain roadblocks again in this month, in April. So while they are blocking oil terminals, their mates will be causing traffic jams elsewhere in London. And once again, it's all a kawinky dink. It all plays perfectly into the hands of what the World Economic Forum want, what the United Nations want, what the government wants, what the super rich establishment want. I've talked about this before, but you know, some people might still think that this lot are doing this independently. It's one big orchestrated organization and it's basically one big organization funded by the powers that be to pretend to be rebels when all they are really doing is helping bring about the objectives that are desired by the establishment which is taking away any kind of freedom you have stopping you driving cars social credit scores financial collapse so they can bring in a digital currency all of that stuff this is the same pretend rebellious organization that Russell Brand has interviewed and shown support for. This is the same group that is supported by Boris Johnson's father, Stanley Johnson. The same group that walks around in those satanic costumes. The same group that pours fake blood all over themselves in rituals, a death cult, basically. The same organization that gets promoted across all fake stream media platforms on GMB, talking to Piers Morgan in staged arguments and debates, BBC, talk radio, GB News. Yeah, it's all part of the system, all part of the theater. They are all one and the same. You see how it works. You see how it all comes together, how they are all interlinked. Share this video. It's all about awareness, yeah? I mean, look into these things yourself. Don't take my word for it. If you want, you can check out uh, my other videos on this organization, which go into a little bit more detail. So stay strong, keep the faith, stay focused, make people aware, talk to other people, spread that awareness. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com, a place for like-minded souls, and I'll see you later.